to date version. You can find this by going to gov.uk or typing into uh, whatever search engine it is that you use and uh, putting the heading in public health in brackets, Control of Disease Act 1984, and it'll take you to uh, legislation.gov, if I'm not mistaken, and that is where you'll get the most up-to-date version of this document. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down to uh, page 15, and the reason being is because the way that they have implemented the mandatory vaccine for healthcare workers is through uh, section 45C, which says the appropriate minister may, by regulation, make provision for the purpose of preventing, protecting against, controlling, or providing a public health response to the incidence or spread of infection or contamination in England and Wales, blah, 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 basically saying they can get special powers. Um, and, uh, and the government have utilised this to roll out across the country um, mandatory vaccinations in healthcare settings. This is what they are expected to probably do when they want to try and push it on the rest of us. However, the idiots in government only read so far, found what they needed to be able to push this through and then went ahead and did it. What they didn't do is scroll down just one more page to section 45E and it says here medical treatment. Regulations under section 45B or 45C, which has been used by the government to implement these mandatory vaccinations and as I say will continue to do so if they roll it out publicly, may not include provision requiring a person to undergo medical treatment and underneath it defines medical treatment includes vaccination and other prophylactic treatment so it's there in black and white they are quite literally by mandating vaccinations in healthcare settings breaching the public health act 1984 control of disease and if they try to utilize this to roll out mandatory vaccinations for dual public they will also be in breach of uh, this public health act and uh, my advice to anybody that does not want to do it is to stand your ground because as time goes on it will be clear that they have broken the law and uh, hopefully there will be consequences and not too many people will have been forced or done something that they really didn't want to do all right hope some people find this useful thanks for your time guys see you soon